welcome to IF, videos on conspiracy, myth and legends. New content posted weekly so hit that red button and subscribe and don't forget to ring that little bell to be notified each and every time we post a new video. Fame is something many people chase. The dream of being rich and well known is all some people want. But as the old saying goes, sometimes you must be careful what you wish for as you may just get it. In this video we look at the 27 Club. The 27 Club was the name given to an unsettling trend of superstars dying as their careers peaked. This coincided with them reaching the age of 27. Originally it seemed to be limited to famous musicians such as Jimi Hendrix and Jim Morrison. However, in the past few years the club of 27 has grown to encompass more artists like Anton Yelchin and Jean-Michel Basque. These 10 star deaths are considered the most compelling of the 27 club. First, Ron Pigpen McKernan, the original frontman of the Grateful Dead is noted for bringing the influence of the blues to the band's sound. He died from gastrointestinal bleeding after complications from alcoholism. Jonathan Brandis, a suicide. Richie Edwards of the Manic Street Preachers just disappeared. Brian Jones, the original founder and leader of the Rolling Stones, found dead at the bottom of his swimming pool. Jim Morrison, the Doors frontman, found dead in a bathtub in Paris. Janis Joplin, heroin overdose. Robert Johnson died from strychnine poisoning and pneumonia. Kurt Cobain, suicide at his home. Amy Winehouse died from alcohol poisoning. Jimi Hendrix, details on his death are disputed but he did take 9 sleeping pills the night before he died. All of these stars dead at the age of 27 and at the height of their fame due to tragedy and personal demons but could there be a more sinister undertone? Would you sell your soul to obtain stardom? Did these people make a deal with the devil? The 27 Club is thought of by some as a group who made this satanic pact. They signed a contract with the devil so they may achieve fame and fortune playing rock and roll. This starting with the blues legend Robert Johnson. Johnson supposedly had little to no talent playing guitar but he wanted success. The story goes that one night he heard a voice telling him to visit the crossroads by Dockery's plantation at the stroke of midnight. When he arrived he was greeted by a large black man who was apparently the devil in disguise. The big man took the guitar from Johnson, tuned it and returned it to him. The guitar was then offered to Johnson in exchange for his soul. Returning from the plantation with the new guitar, Johnson became a blues virtuoso overnight. In 1938 at the age of 27 he was poisoned and died and the devil claimed his soul. An anonymous satanic high priestess claims that all members of the 27 club since that night when Johnson sold his soul have been promised fame and fortune. They can have their fame, their heart's desire but at the cost of their soul and in exchange for their agreement to teach youth of that age to serve Satan. Special ceremonies are held during the recording of the artist. This is when a satanic blessing is placed upon their music. From that day on when the music is played demons are called into the room. These demons possessing the person playing the music and the people who are listening. I feel you're all deleting your music files and smashing CDs in an attempt to hold on to your soul but just wait one second. Actual statistical research shows celebrities aren't more likely to die at the age of 27. 56 is actually the age that the highest death rate occurs. Or maybe that's what the <laughs> devil wants us to believe. 
<laughs> Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please, please, please remember to subscribe. Maybe throw me a like or even a share. Thanks for watching. See you next time.